Hey, hey, Welcome back to your <laughs> Welcome to another health episode with Mr. Zhang. Last time, we introduced the DNA unit to you all. Do you remember what DNA means? Yes, that's right. DNA means drugs and alcohol. Last time, we also introduced the main themes of this unit that we will be covering throughout the term. This week, we will look at what you know about drugs and alcohol. In our classes, our students will brainstorm everything they know about drugs and alcohol. Let's go and take a look at how they went. Do you know anything about drugs and alcohol? What do you know? This is not a test. There's no right or wrong answer. Come on. Don't be shy. That's not the only cause. Okay, drugs and alcohol aren't the only reason why you can get cancer. Alright, there's other reasons. But, yeah. 100% you can get cancer. Alright, what else? This is a good list. Sorry, I'll get out of your way so you can write it down. Cigarette? Cigarette? Well, yeah, it's a form of drug because it's a... All right. What can, happen, what can happen to ladies? Remember what we talked about? Ladies, what can happen to you that fellas can't happen? That's right, yeah. As you saw, there were a lot of students sharing what they know about drugs and alcohol. Great work, team. Now we will move on to the first of our focus points for this unit. This is the effects that drugs and alcohol has on a person. As a class, we talked about what an effect is, and we also introduced the different effects that we will be looking at and what it means to them. These are the physical effects, the mental effects, or the interpersonal or social effects. Let's see how they went. To know the different effects that alcohol has on you. An effect is a change which is the result of something happening. That's right, that's right. Yep, write that down. That's do the same thing. <laughs> you do the same thing. No. Sometimes, sometimes people do. <laughs> yeah, about everything you know about drugs and alcohol. You've already done it, you've already done it, you've already done it. What do you know? I'm Why do people fight? You when you're drunk. That's right. Okay, right. so I'm not gonna write that, I'm gonna write hurting people. You said Yeah. Really good to see our students speaking up and sharing their ideas about how drugs and alcohol can affect a person. Don't be shamey mob. Next week, we will break down these effects a bit more for you to make it clear for you to understand what these actually mean. We will also look at the physical effects that drugs and alcohol can have on how a person looks and their health. Until next time, bye. All right, now, this Friday, what is this Friday? What? 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 It's supposed to be athletics carnival, all right? So what we're doing here in class is we are preparing you the best as possible. So come Friday, you can try your best and try and get the highest, highest jump for the moment. All right. Out of your hand like that on the inside. Like that. Okay. Like, like, yeah. I don't know. Oh, right so it should come out. <laughs> so it should come out like that. Yeah, I'm right in there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's good. We'll work on that. Good work.
Okay, let's go on to digital time. So a lot of people have on their phones digital time, on their alarm clocks when they're watching out for when to get up, and particularly at the airport and sometimes at train stations, they will use digital time. So you really need to be able to read that. It's the same thing, the day hasn't changed, there's 24 hours in the day. So the day kind of starts at 12 midnight. Even though that seems funny, it doesn't start in the morning, it starts at 12 midnight. And those times are called AM, which means after midnight. So if someone says to you, come and see me at 6 AM, they mean six hours after midnight. Now when the clock goes round and it gets to 12 o'clock in the middle of the day, which is half of 24, it's 12 midday. But after that, when it gets to 1, it's called 1 p.m., which is past midday. So there's a difference. Okay, you have to remember that. So, this goes both ways when you always have to be thinking, but the 24-hour clock looks like this, okay? This is midnight and next will be one. So there'll be a one there and two zeros. At midday, unlike the other clock, it doesn't reach 12 and then go to one. It just keeps going. So the next one after midday at 12 will be 1300. That's what you'll say and see. After that, it'll be 1400. So have a look here. This is 1626. You say, what time is that? There's no time for 16. Yes, there is, because it's gone to 12 midday, and instead of going to one, it's gone on to this 13. So 12 midday, 1300 hours, 1400 hours, 1500 hours, 1600 hours. That's four. Okay, so it's four hours after midday, 12, so it's 1600, but really it is 426. I know that's a little bit hard to understand, but just practice. So what about this time, 10.30? Is it 10.30 in the morning or 10.30 at night time? Remember, the clock keeps going. So this is the first 10 hours of the day. So this is 10.30 in the morning. Now, if the digital clock wanted to tell you it was 10.30 at night, you'd have to go 12 and add on 10.30. So 10.30 at night will be 22.30, which goes back to this, which is this time is midnight. So 22.30 is approaching, 10.30 at night approaching midnight. So everybody, Take notice when you go to the airport, talk to people, ask for help, and it's really important when you get a job later on. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.
Silas is with me, Mr. Tom. Hey guys, welcome to Urara to You Music. Today we're going to be learning um, Where I Belong by Lonely Boys. Now this is a pretty easy song, it's only got three chords. Uh, if you remember from last term, uh, I taught you how to use bar chords, which is where you put your index finger over all of the strings, and then two frets along, so you count one, two, your ring finger on the A, and your little finger there on the D string right underneath it. So it should look like this, if you can see. Um, first things first though, we need to tune our guitar, as always, every time you pick up your guitar you need to check that it's in tune. So I'll go through the notes one more time. E, A, D, G, B, and then E again. So, Lonely Boys, Where I Belong, only three chords. The first one is uh, an A, a bar chord which is one, two, three, four, five. So it's on the fifth fret, which is the second dot there. So remember, index finger, press down on all of the strings. You don't need to use your middle finger. Then your ring finger goes on the A string, two frets along, so one, two, there. And then your little finger goes right underneath it on the D. So, you can just keep your hand in exactly the same position for all the chords. So the first one is A. Second chord is G bar chord. So just move your whole hand down, keep it in the, in the same position. Move your whole hand down two frets. Okay, so one, two, down to the first dot there. You see the dot? Okay. And then the third chord is an F, which is on the first fret. Exactly the same position, just move your hand down two frets, so. Now this song has something new in it, which you may not have heard of before, called palm muting. Now palm muting is where you rest this part of your hand here, over the strings there, as you're playing. So it softens the notes, it makes the notes a bit shorter. Okay, so. So you just rest your hand gently on top of the strings there as you're strumming. So this is how it starts. So A bar chord. Now you hear every time, after every time I hit the chord, I do a... Okay, so... Okay. And it does that twice. main riff comes in. So riff is a word given to a tune played on a guitar. Um, and you need to do two palm mutes after every time you hit the chord. So it sounds like this. So that's the verse, it just repeats that over and over again. And then when it comes to the chorus, you just need to focus on F and G. They're the only two chords you need to play for the chorus, which goes, so you don't need to do the palm muting anymore, you just strum like this, up and down. to the verse.
two, three, four. And the song just repeats those two those two sections over and over again. Um, and there's a guitar solo which I can't play, so I can't show you that, I'm afraid. But yeah, that's um where I belong by Lonely Boys. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone. So now we're doing a lesson on homophones. I don't know if you've heard that word, but it is a made up word which comes from a Greek base, homos, which means the same. The second part of the word is phones, you know phones, but that comes from the word phonics, which means speech sounds. So a homophone is a word that is pronounced, said, the same as another word, but it has a different meaning. A homophone may also have a different spelling. The two words may be spelled the same, as in rose, when you get up, you rose from your bed, and rose, the flower. They're spelled exactly the same. but they mean a different thing. So also, as in the word rain. So, this rain is wet. This rain sounds the same, spelt differently. We're talking about kings and queens. Now there's one more rain, and you'll know this if you ride a horse, the rain that you hold on to, to make the horse go in different directions. And that's spelled R-E-I-N. So these are homophones. They sound the same, but they all have different meanings. And in this case, they're spelled differently. So one of the hardest ones are the simple ones. So the word it's, so, we can spell it like this, or we can spell it like this. And they sound exactly the same, they're spelt the same, but they mean two different things. So this one, it's when someone has something or owns something. And this it's, we've left a letter out here. This one is really, it is, but we've left one letter out and we spell it like this, it's. So, for an example, here's a little example. My kitten likes its milk to be warm. So that kitten has milk. So we spell it with this one, it's. The second one is, my dog thinks it's time to eat. So it's not this it's, it's this one. It is time to eat. My dog thinks it is time to eat. This one. Let's try another one. It's raining outside, but my cat doesn't care because it's dry and safe in its basket. So which word will we use here? Because it is dry and safe in its basket, the cat's basket. The second one, if it's warm weather, do you think our school would turn on its air conditioner? Same thing, if it is warm weather, and the school's air conditioner, the school has an air conditioner, it's. Now, let's have a look at another one. Your and your. They sound exactly the same, don't they? So this one would be an example of your school uniform. 
and this one is a contraction. We've left a letter out here, that's what this little sign's showing you. This one means you are. So your means it belongs to you. You have it. And you are is, as I said, short for you. Your is short for you are. Now, an example would be, Adam, I found your skateboard. This one. Your sweet smile makes me happy. This one. It's better to stay home if you're sick. You are sick. Or, I think you're, you are, a very kind person. Now, here's a few more that you're probably familiar with, and these are simple ones. So, a pair of socks or to eat a pair sounds the same. He won the race, there was only one person in it. One, one. I can see, I went to the sea. You should be here now, or in the paddock there was a you, a female sheep. This one's no good to us. This is an American saying, so I'm not going to talk about this. In the olden days, we used to send mail letters in an envelope, but some of our fellows at school, we would say that they are mail. Last one, write in your notebooks, or when you've finished, I will see if you have everything right. Are you starting to understand that? And you know what? It's really hard for you because I had a look and I found all of these words that sound the same and are spelt different. And guess what? There's another whole sheet of them. So it's a big challenge for you to learn English, but the more you concentrate and the more you read, the easier it will be to see how it's spelt and in what context, where it fits within the sentence. So thanks for listening and look out for your spelling. Bye now. The URA Mixed Book is launched. Fellas go to Gillen Bor Air Station for a cultural trip. Students fare well in the inter school swimming carnival. Fellas take part in making and sack poppies at Yeprinya Shopping Centre. A point to bring the marimbas back to life. Good morning, I'm Lofty. And I'm Tara with your R News. Today fellas are heading out for the weekend to Gillen Boat Station for a cultural trip. Have fun, fellas. Last night at the Alice Spring Library, the URI Mixed Book was launched. This book was written and illustrated by the following students. Christella Campbell, Tara Kelly, Jafrina Campbell, Janika and Kamala, Mark Fordham and Melton Armstrong. With the help of Indigenous art who worked along these students, these students were also presented at lunch and got to enjoy dinner with the Indigenous Lit Centre Foundation. Awesome work people. Let's have a listen to a couple of the stories from the book read by Christella Campbell and Janika Inkamala. We are from the north, south, east and west. Doesn't matter what colour but we are fresh. We do what we do, but not to impress. We are equal and treat each other the best. Here at Yarra, basketball and football is the game. We always win it, our reputation we maintain. We have deadly skills that you cannot contain. 
We are different, but we're still the same. Everybody loves us so they claim, but it's a love for each other that gives us no shame. A dream time story. I heard a little tree dragging along the ground. After the sun went down, I saw a woman was sit singing under the tree, dancing, singing, telling dream time stories, speaking in language. She was telling the tree to change a little girl, getting her spells and her magics. The book will be available to the students, communities and our library in the near future. On Wednesday afternoon, eight students along with Talbot went to the Yiprinya shopping centre to assist in making poppies for Anzac Day. Go, go on, guys. Eight went to have been learning to play during music lesson to the chapel song One Way on the murmurs, drums, bass, guitar and keyboards. Let's check it out. some late news for Urara TV. Fiona Dixon, Sabrina James and Caitlin Haynes have started their VET Certificate 1 in retail at McDonald's. After completing their online induction and their work health and safety unit, they have started working in the restaurant kitchen. They are being trained and are preparing salads and also using the fries. Well done ladies. Good morning. Hey, hey. Come back to your hour. <laughs> <laughs>